So it's been a little bit since I recorded the last uh, group of videos. And I, uh, the Night Aves and the Antispec. So anyway, it's been a while since I recorded the last because I, I recorded the last uh, section as a big chunk and I realized that it's kind of boring and kind of a bad idea to record stuff like that because it is. Uh, anyway, I spent a lot of time, I don't remember how long, 70 days, 71 days, I, I want to say we were in like day 10, something. Anyway, uh, I did a quest, we have this violence generator which sounds very fun because the machine gods are hungry for human souls and that sounds like a really bad idea, but um, I've already noticed we have a little bit of a lag problem because uh, Either there's too many animals here, which I don't think is the problem, or something with a remor, which I'm going to blame remor because it's the big mod that I have that I, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's because I installed him. Uh, not that. Maybe it's because I started the Empire Ire and there's an Empire thing here now, but I'm not sure. Um, either way, uh, my colonist, me, sort of, uh, got married to a... Kuloren, Kiloren, which is like a forest spirit, which apparently they're bleeding out. Um, it's supposed to be medical beds, because this is a health thing, so they go in here and it's health. Oops, meant to set those higher. Anyway, um, uh, we lost a few colonists now. Um, I think two of these are, three of these are colonists, one of these is an enemy at some point like that, two of them are enemies. Either way, um, so I built a little mining thing with some tents, because I figured, uh, for now I want temporary housing until I start figuring out more of what I do, I won't worry, more of what I'm going to build. Um, and then I decided this building is going to be a agricultural slash, uh, agriculture storehouse plus an animal temporary animal place and then restaurant here because they can set these for dining um, I might expand this this way this is why this is like this and that's why this is here so the idea I thought I was I can build the kitchen somewhere here and then there's like this corridor that goes here and then this is like one of the main inlets um, this will be landing zone or something. I'll figure that out later. And then I can have a bunch of farming just here on this strip. And then I can clean off, clear off all this or just put woods and sort of like wall it in. Um, up to this and then I connect those. And then this section can be its own section of land I want. Um, I don't really remember what else I did besides try to expand and build some stuff. I spent a lot of the silver on these beacons. They weren't too expensive, but yeah. Um, the healing boost, though, is pretty useful because it gives natural healing factor immunity gain and all that stuff. So very useful. Um, and then this is a mining one that I'm not sure if it affects this. But the mining boost is like... 150% speed and deep drilling speed, so yeah, I can move them around as well, so uh, I have an animal taming one here, a haste one here, which moves faster, and then uh, construction one and the health one. But we have um, this, pie, this, this pyramid, which is uh, absolutely massive when I saw it, and you can turn it for some reason. But it's going to go right here, if it's a good idea. Okay, well... No. So I'm going to build it. So I am going to create the pyramid for the machine gods. Um, I also bought some animals. Device taps into psychic energy, leaving the bodies of surrounding humanoids, changing it directly into usable energy. The technology is developed by architects and is beyond most glitter world societies. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what this does, but it's a violence generator, so... Um...
I should look up what that does, but um, I was a little surprised because I saw it as vanilla furniture expanded power, and then I thought, well, that doesn't make sense because it's part of the more if you take garbage, I thought, and I think there might be a little overlap or something because uh, where is it? The small cell is the base game now, and I saw the that, sorry, I thought this was base game. For, uh, I mean, furniture expanded power. And then I thought I saw that, and I saw this, which is the bench that you can make it at. So then I thought, well, maybe this mod's compatible. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Yeah, but that's a violence generator. So maybe I don't know. There's no radius, so maybe it's just violence on the map. I don't know. Um, did I even customize the storyteller? I did a little bit. So yeah. Uh, we should have some threat. At least for now, we should have some threat. Um, I know the FPS doesn't get too high, and it's kind of disappointing that the tick speed is also low. I'm not exactly sure the cause of that is. Uh, I do have... Not that. That. I have this, which tells me things. Anyway, that's a little follow-up. Uh, I also have a CGL-1 grenade launcher, which is a eccentric tech Foxy's armory weapon. Um, Multi-grenade launcher utilizing priority 44 millimeter charged grenade rounds. Oh no, a group of pirates from the cockroaches have arrived in transport pods nearby and are attacking immediately with a combat power of 71. Oh no. Are you gonna deal with it? No. Okay. I'm just gonna not even notice each other. Well, I notice because they, I can see. So, this is the legendary revolver that I started the game with. They don't die by then. Um, it's got a lot of stats on it, right? So. See how fast that firing is? Yeah. And then it explodes and deals damage and all that, so. Very, very powerful, which uh, means I need to delete it at some point, but. I don't think I'm going to yet. Um, yeah, very powerful. Um, I'm expanding this a little bit. I kind of don't want the alley to be right here. I kind of want the alley to be right there, so it is in the middle of the map, but I decided that um, eventually I'm going to... This is going to be not self-contained, but it's going to be blocked off as best I can. So I want to have like little alley gardens between the mountains. And then this will be a... Uh, I don't remember the word for clothing store. To be a clothing store, they get made and then they get put in the racks. And then this will be sellable clothes. And then any legendary stuff will get taken, put somewhere in the center. And then this is gonna be a. I don't know if I want the armory here, but armory I want over here, kind of. But uh, something to do with the restaurant, maybe. So food can go. But yeah. Um... All right, uh, I don't remember where I was at last time. Um, we got some animals, though, which is good. Uh, this restaurant's gonna stay here for now. I realized I didn't count right here, so this is all not right. Uh, this might be right. I don't remember if I counted it right, because it doesn't seem counted right. Because I was trying to keep everything in thirds, but I don't know anymore. This thing, apparently, uh, tested it on one of these corpses. Apparently you just put a body here, and then it eats the flesh and all that, leaves the skeleton, I think, and then it generates power, which is not very useful, so it's it's decoration now. Uh, mechanoids are showing up, which I don't like because I don't know how to deal with them. Um, I'm going to start expanding this, because it's the only way really to. Um, they're attacking me, 
So they need to they need to die. This is the the cockroaches. They need to die. And at least maybe this section. Um, I think I'm gonna put a city here, here, and we're gonna block all this stuff off. Hopefully. This is Regor. I forgot to look at this last time. But the seat is homestead. So. Uh, it's nice. It's, it's got like the spanning continent, spanning oceans, and then it's the little island here that I found and expanded a little bit. Chugging along.